At the beginning of the movie, we are shown that a lot of Cubans come to Miami in the United States by boat, where the immigration officer asks these people some questions. But a guy named Tony Montana, he escapes from them with great cunning, because Tony and his friend do not have USA nationality, so they are kept in a detention center there. Now his friend Manny shows him a Cuban officer there. After killing him, they get USA nationality and a lot of money. After that, they both get out and start working in a restaurant. Tony is not happy with this job. And he tells his friend Manny that I have something big to do. So that I can be a big man. Now they two meet Omar. This man is the right-hand man of Frank Lopez, one of Miami's biggest drug lords. He wants to give him some money for the murder he committed in the detention center, but Omar gets angry when he hears that he has to do something big so that he can become a big man, but later he admits that. Now Tony and Manny go to a drug dealer with their two friends while Manny and his partner are standing outside. Now inside, Tony and his partner meet this drug dealer who is a very bad man. He fires a gun at both of them and kills Tony's partner. He's about to kill Tony too, until Manny and his partner come in. And they both attack the drug dealer's men. The drug dealer runs out to save his life. Tony also chases after him and kills him in front of everyone on the street. They now have a lot of drugs from this drug dealer. Omar actually sent them here and Tony now suspects Omar, so he refuses to give him the drug. He says, I will give it to your boss, Frank, myself. Now Tony and Manny meet Frank very well. Frank was quite happy with the work. He offers Tony to work with him. He also introduces them to his wife named Elvira, who is quite young and beautiful. She is much younger in age than Frank. Tony starts liking her at first sight. He even tries to talk to her. Now three months have passed, and Tony becomes Frank's special man. One day, Tony takes his friend Manny to a place where his mother and sister live. Going there, his mother gets very angry with Tony. You left us five years ago, she says. Now you are a criminal. Because of you, all the Cubans have turned against us. They call you a criminal. She throws Tony out of the house, but her sister comes to drop her off at the car because after her father has passed, she considers Tony as her own father. After Tony's sister leaves, his friend tells him that his sister is very beautiful. Tony gets angry and tells her not to think about it and Frank sends Tony and Omar to Alejandro, a big drug dealer, for a big drug deal. Tony talks to Alejandro and deals with him. Omar is very angry about this, because he makes big decisions without getting permission from Frank. Alejandro tells Omar that Tony will stay with me for a few days. You can get out of here. And as Omar is getting out of the chopper, a man from Alejandro who is sitting next to him in the chopper hangs him from the chopper and kills Omar. Now Manny and Tony go to a club where Tony sees his sister, his sister was taking drugs with a boy. The boy goes to the main washroom with Tony's sister, where he tries to abuse her. Then Tony comes from behind and starts hitting the boy. At the same time, he beats his sister and says that after today, if I see you in any such place, I will kill you. Her sister falls to the same ground. And then Manny arrives and takes over Tony's sister, and he goes to leave her home. The two of them talk a lot along the way, and somewhere they both start liking each other while Tony separates from his boss Frank and starts his small drug business. When Frank finds out, he gets very angry. He sends two sharpshooters to kill Tony. They keep firing at Tony, but Tony somehow escapes. After that, he arrives at his house. He asks Frank why he did that. He denies that he didn't attack him, but Tony scares him. So he admits that he did it, but this is a mistake. He also apologizes to Tony because he knows Tony is here with his teammates, and now he is much more powerful, but Tony doesn't forgive him. He tells his friend Manny to kill this bullshit, and that is how Frank is killed. They even kill some of Frank's special men. He takes over all of Frank's illegal activities. He first marries Frank's wife, Elvira, whom he liked at first sight. Now Tony has become a big man. He seems to be fulfilling all his dreams. He builds a magnificent house for himself, as well as the city's largest drug dealers. They all work together with Tony. He has no shortage of money. However, the bankers tell him that he cannot deposit that much money in one day. But Tony convinced them, too. His life goes on like this. There comes a day when the police raid falls on Tony. They make videos of his drugs and drug dealing. After which Tony has to go to jail. Now his old friend Alejandro comes to see him. Tony meets very senior government officials. He tells Tony that there is a journalist who has much evidence against him. And he's trying to expose him. If you get rid of it, we can get away with it. And after that, all the charges against you will be removed. Tony accepts the deal. At night, he goes to the restaurant with his friend Manny and his wife, Elvira, where it gets very emotional. He tells his wife, Elvira, that you can't have children. I want to be a father. Elvira is very angry about this. She throws a vine on top of him. And she says that even if I have children, 
Will you be a good father? What future will you give them? You don't even know how long you are alive. You can never be a good father. Saying this, she leaves. In the next scene, Tony starts chasing the journalist with Alejandro's men. They planted bombs in his car. The journalist sits in the car with his wife and children. Tony tells Alejandro's men that no one will detonate a bomb as long as the journalist's children are in the car. But a man does not want to obey him. That's why Tony gets angry and he shoots him and leaves, which is why the journalist survives. Alejandro calls Tony and says you ruined the whole plan. Now you will never be able to kill a journalist. Tony tells him that he will come to New York City next month, that I will kill him. But Alejandro tells him that he can never kill him again, because he knew there was a bomb in the car. Therefore, he significantly increased his security, and now he will kill us all. Alejandro was a friend of Tony, but now he has become his enemy. There are so many enemies in Tony's town. Although Tony has become a big gangster, somewhere in his heart there is loneliness. That's why he goes to see his mother and sister, where his sister is not there. Her mother says she goes somewhere every night. She also gives the address of the house where his sister goes. Tony arrives at the house. After opening the gate, he sees that his sister is there with her best friend Manny. Seeing this, he becomes a firestorm. He had warned Manny before, but he didn't listen to him, so he angrily shot him. Tony's sister starts crying when she sees this, and she tells Tony that they were married and they were going to talk to him tomorrow. They had a surprise for him. And now Tony is very sad that he has killed his best friend and his sister's husband. He returns home with his sister, where Alejandro's men were already waiting for him, because they want to eliminate Tony, and maybe Tony is already half over. He is so engrossed in his grief that his mental state begins to deteriorate. Alejandro's men first attack Tony's men, who always stays with him. The same Tony's sister starts shooting at Tony because he has killed her husband Manny. A bullet also hits Tony's leg, and before he can kill Tony, a man from Alejandro comes in and shoots Tony's sister, killing her. Tony grabs the man and throws him down. Now Tony comes to his sister's dead body and cries. Tony lost his best friend and his sister today. There is no desire left to live in it now. He pulls out his big gun and starts firing towards the gate, which causes a blast and a lot of Alejandro's men are killed. But Tony continues to carry a gun. Alejandro's men fired on him, but he constantly fights with the men of Alejandro. And there comes a moment when he stands in front of Alejandro's men. Then a man from Alejandro fired at him from behind. And Tony falls inside the pool. And so did Tony who wanted to be a big man. Wanted to be a rich man is killed however, there is nothing wrong with being big or getting rich. Everyone should try it. But there must be a right way. Otherwise, the end of evil is always evil. But the way it happened with Tony, this is the end of the movie Scarface. This movie was released in 1993. Its rating on MDB is 8.3. The film had a budget of $23.5 to $37 million, and at the box office, it earns $6 to $6 million. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.